Welcome back to my Sims 4 playthrough, where our goals are to woo Judith and Vlad. As mentioned last time, there was about 30 minutes that I wasn't recording for, and in that time, I managed to complete the first part of the serial romantic aspiration, and I think the second date happened with that fitness lady that's a two-star celebrity, and it was very painful because she just did not like being around Amelia for some reason. This picks off right after that date, I think, and I'm just at the park trying to meet Sims and gain enough friendship to invite them over, eventually. And who should I happen to see but Judith? Yeah, so I have to go over and say hi immediately. She always looks so grumpy. <laughs> Honestly, out of Judith and Vlad, Vlad is definitely my favorite. I, I just love Vlad so much. <laughs> I picked Judith for the challenge of wooing a five-star celebrity. And I figure she'd be a good counterpoint to Vlad, since Vlad was always going to be part of the challenge. Uh, because, you know, she's mean and he's evil. They're a match made in heaven. I really wish there was a trait that just lets Sims not fawn over celebrities, since it's really ruining my cool girl image for Amelia. I'm going to have Amelia ask Judith for her autograph. Hopefully that brings their relationship a little bit up, but uh, it's still going to take a lot of work before they could actually have a real conversation. Oh. Yes! She said yes! No. We're good. <laughs> Ooh! The autograph is a picture of Judith. I could do something with that. Alright, I'm gonna go say goodbye to Judith now. I don't want to annoy her and risk our relationship going down. Time to go snare other Sims for my aspiration. Oh, oh dag dag. Uh -huh. <laughs> Quixie. After getting some friendship with this guy, I decided to head home with one of my other befriended Sims so I could get some romantic interaction in. Get one of those requisite partners. <laughs> Give me a moment while I check to make sure none of our romantic interests are around. I really don't want to deal with jealousy. Which is why I did the whole serial romantic thing in the first place. I ended up finding out that this Johnny Zest guy was actually one of the land grabs, and then he just kind of like got disowned by his family for being a musician or something. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> Hey, look at that! We just need another couple first kisses, and then we're done with the second part of the aspiration. <laughs> Amelia is also hilarious, apparently. This actually becomes relevant later, but not in this episode, so... I can't help eyeing up that, uh, great kisser reward. There's a little cheat to get charisma faster. Too bad I can't afford it. Yet. And now we just need one more first kiss, and we're on to the next part of the aspiration. I'm just gonna make him one of the boyfriends before he goes, and get that out of the way early. That's right, Amelia. You're on a roll. I'm just gonna put this up here, since it's now one of Amelia's prized possessions. And now she's just gonna go admire it for a few hours. And sigh wistfully about her encounter with the great oh. Judith Ward. She can't help calling all her friends to tell them about it, too. Oh, she just can't contain her love for Judith. Ooh, 400 simoleons. Too bad we're never, ever selling it. I'm pretty sure because she's materialistic and she just doesn't really have enough to do when she's at home, she'll just randomly try and go admire this uh, this autograph just throughout the day. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> anyway, back to work. We have a different vampire to woo. Caleb's gonna be a little Vlad warm-up, I suppose. I picked the library because I figured me and Caleb could run indoors if he starts burning up. I really don't want to accidentally murder my vampire lover.
a quick bay check before we start. Oh, ho, ho. quick son. Oh, the douche. Oh, oh. boy. Heyo, first kiss again. <laughs> we zoom in through this aspiration. Okay, I need to level up charisma some more, so lots of chatting. I need strong romantic relationships with two more sims, so I better do that. And I need to go and kiss some of my already existing bays. Zorpal? Another yes. fish has been caught in my net. <laughs> so here's a photo to commemorate the occasion. Look, I'm poor, okay? I need to make money somehow. And of the two ways I've got, one of them is selling random photos, which do give me fame, but not that much. Our girl Vanessa invited us on a date, which means we can get another one of our ten kisses, and also just hang out with Vanessa, which is always a blast. <laughs> When I was playing The Sims in a different playthrough, and I was trying to get my sim to complete like the five-star celebrity actress aspiration, uh, Vanessa was actually my best friend in that playthrough, and we hung out all the time because we lived right next to each other. And, you know, she was around, and she was always, always inviting me out places. So I, I have fond memories of Vanessa. <laughs> That playthrough is the reason this one even exists, because my sim in that playthrough had just the most epic love story with Vlad. It was it was beautiful. They actually met because she went to one of those hot spot clubs, and for some reason Vlad was working there as a bouncer, and they just started talking and became friends. It was so sweet. I guess I'm just trying to reclaim the magic of that other playthrough without having to do all the work of becoming a five-star celebrity again. Although, if I want to get with Judith, I might have to do that anyway. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to do that much work. I'm hoping I can get a high enough relationship with her that I could just call her and send her annoying text messages to raise the relationship without having to be that famous. All right, we're back with Zest again. Time to get kisses and raise the relationship enough to get those two checked off. Ew, we got those ones right away. I like that Amelia wants to level up Charisma too. We're on the same page, she and I. After chatting with Zest, I send her on a jog, because I do want to level up her athletic skill, if only for backstory reasons. The never-ending quest for enough fame to introduce oneself to the woman of their dreams. While we're here, let's make Summer our next victim. She keeps trying to leave during this conversation, and I keep forcing her to stay by talking to her as she's walking away. It, it took a long time. But I am nothing if not persistent, and I have made her another bay. Fun fact, when I first built this house, I had the unisex bathroom doors on the outside and the gendered bathroom doors on the inside, but between now and then, I actually switched them around. So there's like a men's door and a women's door, and you have to walk in through one of them, but then both bathrooms are unisex. And I just thought it was funnier that way. It's just like, hey, pick whichever door you want. It's the same bathroom. Vlad's here! Oh, he came to- oh, uh, he he's leaving. Oh no. Come back, Vlad. I want to talk to you. <laughs> it's kind of funny that he knocked on what is in canon a public restroom, hoping someone would answer the door. <laughs> Why were you knocking on a bathroom door, Vlad? <laughs> you know what? You're kind of weird too, Amelia. <laughs> 
Time to reel in our next fish. Come on, buddy. Be my friend. You know you want to. I can give you so much social interaction. Your social will never go down. And another quick bay check. Oh. Oh no. Vanessa. Wait. What are you wearing? What is that outfit? You know what? It's a weird outfit, but she looks kind of cute in it. And honestly, I think I dig it. Just because Vanessa's wearing it. I guess we're going to use this time to raise our charisma skill instead of uh, getting some romance on. But that's okay. We have time. We're not in a rush. Oh! A good reputation, you say? Well, that's convenient. You know, I think I want to get a picture of Vanessa in this outfit. Just to commemorate it. It's so cute! I love the greeting with the kiss on the cheek. It's, it's the best. I love it so much. I think this picture might look good on my wall, right next to the one of Judith. There's something kind of rude about getting a cute kiss on the cheek from your girlfriend and then immediately going to hug another woman. <laughs> I mean, I know it's my fault and I'm the one doing it, but still. Oh, someone else wants to join this kind of awkward encounter. Alright, come on, come on over. Katrina! Join us, Katrina! Everything is fine. There's nothing weird going on at all. <laughs> you know, if there wasn't the knowledge from above that my sim was fully intending to woo all these other people, this would be just a friendly get-together between gal pals. <laughs> but it's not, because there's that weird... <laughs> <laughs> that weird subtext. <laughs> oh yay! I'm best friends with Vanessa again. That's nice. <laughs> no! <laughs> Amelia! Stop being so flirty! <laughs> Amelia, please! Draw boy Zarp. Thank god Alex apparently doesn't have a flirty bone in her body. Yes, keep complaining about your problems, Alex. Kill the mood, Alex. Although, I still do need to make progress in my aspiration. Hmm... Why can't you lock gendered bathroom doors? You should be able to lock them! Oh god. Now we have to flirt in this tiny cubicle. I remember when I thought Amelia was cool. <laughs> this is the most awkward thing I have ever seen. I hope you understand now why I wanted the reward trait so bad for the serial aspiration thing. Because I don't want to be forced to constantly hide in bathrooms with either Vlad or Judith while the other one's around. I want us to be able to flirt openly without shame. <laughs> Even though Vanessa was kind enough to leave, I probably would have continued having Amelia flirt with Alex in the bathroom if it wasn't for the fact the bathroom is actually too small for some of the social <laughs> interactions. So eventually I let them flirt outside and not next to a toilet. Ooh. 
Just as I was about to have Amelia and Alex kiss, I realized Vanessa was still around and had a mini heart attack. Thankfully, it looked like she didn't, she wasn't close enough to have a proper sight line to, to witness the, the flirtation. So it wouldn't like trigger the jealousy and cause us to lose relationship. Um, but yeah, so it still kind of freaked me out and I kept an eye on her because I, I, I was stressed. I was worried. I didn't want her to get mad at me. Logan. So I did successfully manage to reel Alex in despite uh all the all the interruptions of random people coming over, <laughs> including almost getting caught for our girlfriend who probably deserves better than, than this. Now enjoy Katrina creepily watching us over our shoulder as I as I try to make Alex my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't I don't think I have any romance with Katrina, so I don't know why she doesn't like Alex. Okay, okay. She's leaving. Good. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now to add Vanessa to my wall of love and admiration. I thought the white frame kind of matched the one around the around Judith's autograph. I don't think there's a better name for this photo than than that. <laughs> Cause she just looks so cute in her work clothes. <laughs> that oh no, <laughs> don't take photos through someone else's head. Now to take pictures to turn into free money and fame. Thank you, Alex, for all you've done for me. <laughs> Alright, that's enough for today. Amelia will return in the next episode of Grand Ambitions. <laughs>